Happy Sunday! It is Sunday and we are just back from the horse barn. Yes, I smell like horses. But I did not want to let our fun day get in the way of me making a little video today because we are doing the 90 day video challenge where you can create a 30,000 per month income in 90 days simply by making a video every single day. Now, this video is primarily for my team. I just want to like, kind of make a distinction and get some clarity for my team, um, especially those of you who are a member of the very elite accountability team. You know who you are. And if you are not there yet, I'm not sure why. All you have to do is email me and we'll talk about it. Okay, so on our accountability team, we have... Um, a section for marketing and a section for syndication and sometimes I think this gets a little bit confusing and I want to be really 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 clear about how I see marketing um, and this may not be how everyone sees marketing but for me and for my team this has been a really good distinction that helps make it really clear about what you need to do to be marketing versus syndicating okay so first syndication is when you share your blog post you share like crazy as my friend Shelly likes to say um, you share it on your Facebook groups, on your pages, on your wall, in Google Plus, on wherever you can find to share your blog post. That is syndication to me, okay? Now, when it comes to marketing, syndication is a type of marketing. But when I'm talking about marketing, where we're going to be in the accountability team, marketing to me is driving traffic to your opt-in page. So it's a little bit different. Syndication drives traffic to your blog. Marketing drives traffic to your opt-in page. So now you can use Facebook and you can use social media to drive traffic to your opt-in pages. Um, and that's generally what I do. One of my favorite ways to do that, and it's so simple, is to grab a quote that you like, create an image out of that quote, put your, uh, your opt-in page URL at the bottom, really, you know, in small letters, not being like, <laughs> here we are just being like this is my address and then when you post it on Facebook you want to add your opt-in page address in the description when you post that it'll be clickable and so if people want to learn more or they want to see more then they can click that and then they will go and opt in for your information um, so that's one of the simplest ways uh, that I use to do some marketing on a daily basis uh, another great way is to do Facebook notes and so if you have something to say that doesn't necessarily fit, like this is how I use notes, is something that doesn't quite fit on my blog or if it's not quite long enough for a blog post or it just doesn't kind of fit the theme of my blog post, I'll put it in a Facebook note. I get ideas all the time and so sometimes I just throw those ideas into a Facebook note, I add an image and then at the bottom, I will have a little call to action, like for more information about how we're doing this or whatever I'm talking about, click here and it'll lead to my opt-in page. And so that is marketing because we're driving traffic to our opt-in page. Um, if you are on the inner circle and on the prosperity team, uh, Kevin has a great viral Facebook traffic training in there and that's definitely marketing. <laughs> Um, so you can go into the prosperity team back office and get that training if you are an inner circle member. And if you're not an inner circle member, that's, you know, a good thing to do. And that training is invaluable. So, okay. So the difference between syndication, driving traffic to your blog post, marketing, driving traffic to your opt-in page. And we're always trying to drive traffic to our opt-in page. Even when we're driving traffic to our blog, it's really just to drive traffic to our opt-in page. Because at the bottom of your post, you should have some kind of call to action that's going to lead people to your opt-in page. And then once people are opted in, you're going to drive them to your join page. So opt-in page until they're opted in, and then once they're opted in, to the join page. So, yeah. So my team and my accountability team, I have a little challenge for you this week. Okay, here's the challenge. I want you to do marketing from Monday through Friday. It can literally take less than 10 minutes, but I want you to do it. I see huge chunks in our chart that are empty and it's always in the marketing section. I want it filled with ones, 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 ones everywhere. So listen, if you can check all the ones for your marketing boxes this week, you will get a prize. 
My guess is it's probably going to be an Amazon gift card. But you've got to fill in all your boxes for marketing this week, which means at least one form of marketing every day this week. Hey, one more thing. You know this video challenge? That's marketing. If you upload your video to YouTube, in addition to your EN hosting account, you upload it to YouTube and put a link, you got it, to your capture page in your video description. Bam, marketing. That's marketing, baby, that's marketing. So it doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to take a lot of time, it doesn't have to take any money, but you can do it and I want you to do it this week. So. For my accountability team members, I want ones in all those boxes this week. And if you're not on my accountability team, but you're on my team, message me so you can get in. You can get in the challenge. And you will find that being part of the accountability team, that you're actually taking the actions that build your business. And that's what counts. Alrighty then, I am off to have some more fun on this lovely Sunday afternoon. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.